All right, so I have a 30 inch tumbler. I got it from Amazon and I sprayed painted it black. And you can tell that it's shiny, it has a nice gloss on it. And the method I'm gonna to try to use, the method I'm gonna to use today is gonna to be the tacket method. I got this tacket from Amazon. It was like $4, but you can get it from Walmart, Joann's, wherever. And what I'm gonna do is that I am going to put it in this medicine cup. Um, as you can see right now, I already have, um, already made some. And you're going to need to put equal parts of tacket and equal parts of water. So I'm going to pause this and we're going to get back to it. As you can see here, I kind of have it equal parts of tacket, equal parts of water. And now I'm going to mix. And you're going to want to make sure that both of them are completely mixed together, kind of giving you a watery consistency. Now the tacket will come out being really thick, but as long as you keep mixing it with the water, it's going to become more watery, of course, like glue does. Try to make sure you get all the tacket, even the ones on the side of the cup, because it doesn't look like a lot. But then again, I'm using a sponge, br a sponge brush, so sometimes it, it's going to get used. And this is a, probably a good amount for a cup. You may have some left over. And in the person I was watching, I didn't, I can't remember their name, but the person I was watching even said, you know, if you have enough left over, you can put store it away and it won't dry out. So I don't know how much, how true that is. I mean, she had a cup, she had like a little thing with water in it, but I don't know if, or I don't know how long she had that. So I'll come back as soon as I'm done mixing. All right, so now I'm done mixing and you kind of see the consistency. It's not runny. It kind of, it, it's, it's supposed to be like that. You know, like it's not runny, but it is dripping a little bit. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to put two layers of this tacket on the cup. You can use any brush. I mean, like I said, I'm about to use a sponge brush to apply it. So you can use any brush that you want to apply the tacket on there. You may just want to wash it afterwards because it is a glue. And if you like your brushes or you don't want to keep going to the store and buying brushes, you're going to want to make sure that you clean it out as soon as you're done using the brush. But okay, I'm going to be right back after I'm done applying the tacket to this black cup. All right, the one thing that is going to be very important to make this method come out um, successful is that I'm going to have to make sure that there's no big lines or streaks. So this is just the first layer. And of course, some of it's starting to dry. So you are starting to see some streaks in it. So what I suggest you to do is to kind of go back with the second layer. You can do a third layer just to, just in case, but... The, you have to be mindful, the more glue you do put on here, the harder the glitter is going to be to get off. So you're going to kind of not be too sparingly, or I guess you're going to have to find your happy medium. Or find your little happy mistake and then kind of keep repeating that mistake over and over again. But um, this is my first layer. So what you're going to do is that you're going to let this dry until once again it's completely black then you're going to go ahead and you're going to apply your second layer attack it and so i'm just going to let this dry probably going to take about 10 minutes and i'm going to apply that second layer and see how much that it's already used in here i don't know if you can really see it before but there's only a little bit left like i said i was using a sponge brush and of course that brush is going to absorb some of this stuff. So what I kind of did is kind of let it sit in there, let it absorb much of the glue water that it could. Then I applied it to the cup and just kind of kept squeegeeing or kept pushing the brush up against the cup to release more of that um, glue water solution. So as it dries right now, you can see it's drying right before our eyes. Um, I'm going to wait about another... 
uh, until it's completely black again and then add more tacket and I'll be back. I just wanted to pop back on just to show you that right now the glue is completely dry. You can see some streaks up in here. Look at all them streaks in here, up in here. And that's going to be my goal to try to cover up some of these streaks. Because I don't know if those are just dry streaks or whatever. But that's going to be my goal to try to make the whole cup look kind of cohesive. Because there's some spots where it, there's no streaks at all. So that's what you're, um, you're going to try to achieve with the second layer is to make sure that you have no kind of leftover residual streaks. All right, so this is my last layer. I ended up, I think I accidentally did a third layer, just trying to make sure I had everything covered, all my streaks, all my, um, that I may not have got covered last time. Now, I do have this um, glitter. Now, I'm in love with this glitter. Hold on. Let me look. I didn't glue the bottom, so boop, it's going right there. This glitter is from Mr. Fancy Plants. It's called Abra. Um, I believe I got it for, I got two for about $11. It took like, I think a week if not less to get here and on white cups oh my goodness so let me show you i did a white cup using the tacket method and look how it looks now this is just with the white background now you can see some of the um some of the spots that i had this is my first cup i just did it a while ago so but now I don't even know. You don't even know you have spots when you have white. It's so frustrating. But this is how it comes out looking with the tacking method. Now, the way, now I just have to let you know. Now, just because you do it with the tacket method doesn't mean all your glitter, no matter what you use, is going to come out like this. It has to be glitter that has a halo or an iridescent kind of sparkle to it. For example, this, you, as you look at this glitter, you can see the range of colors in it. When I tilt it, it has a halo effect on there or a hollow, depending on where you're from. Some people call it halo, some people call it hollow, but it has that iridescent look. Now, if you did this to a basic glitter, such as... This, nothing will happen. It'll, it'll just be black. That's all. You won't get any kind of, because as you can tell, there's no kind of iridescence in it. There's no sheen. There's no nothing. It's just flat glitter. But if it was glitter like that, hold on. If it was glitter like this, you can see the iridescence in it. You would see a change in the glitter. So you just have to make sure you're using the right glitter when it comes to um, the method that you, or for the result that you want. And so the result we're going for is this halo result. All right. So now we have our cup pretty much completely dry. It probably took probably five minutes altogether, um, to achieve that, you know, just black, no white. I think I may have like a little white streaks around the rim, of the top of the cup and I'm just going to rub that kind of around the rim. I'm not going to put any glitter on the bottom of it. Um, just because so I can add like a logo or sign it or whatever. And, um, cause you know, if you want to sell your cup, you're going to want people to know where they got it from. Right. Cause they're not going to remember unless, you know, you tell them. So, um, that's what I, so now that this is pretty much done, I'm going to start adding my glitter and you add glitter just like normal. You just get it, shake it down and you add your glitter. So let me go add this glitter and I will be right back. Glitter, and we're just going to shake it on the cup. And you see, once again, the whole cup has no light on it. So we're just going to 
You start to see it? So, I mean, I don't even know what it does. It's some kind of manicure. The blah, 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 blah. I like to call it magic. Science is kind of like magic. But. And you can wear. You don't have to wear a glove if you want. But girl. When I did it the first time. And I didn't have a glove. I still got glitter on my sheets. I had glitter on my face. I probably got glitter on my guts. <laughs> like, I probably got glitter in my lungs. If I ever fail a TB test, it's going to be because I have glitter in my lungs. And you're just going to keep on rubbing until all of the excess glitter is off. There, I mean... I, you can probably rub it. If you don't want to rub it with your hands, you can probably rub it. I don't know what, but I would figure you wouldn't want to rub it with anything hard or coarse. You want to rub it with something smooth because this isn't on here permanent yet. This is just on here with some tacky. With some water and glue, but pretty much. Water and tacky glue. And I am done. All right, this is the cup. I don't. It's serving. It's serving different tea. It is serving some different.